colorful, contrast, vivid bright, or is this a rainbow fish? Hey guys, I'm Surdeep Devanathan. I make fish videos and travel vlogs. In this series of episodes, I'm going to talk to you about different fish and their breeds. And throughout the episodes, we will be talking about freshwater fish, the basic necessity, adaption, breeding, and etc. Famous for their colors, Guppy fish is a freshwater fish. They originate from South America but have been introduced to many habitats and are now found in any lake all over the world. They are called million fish because they are super happy when found in large groups. They are indeed colorful and in contrast hence they are also called rainbow fish. Guppies are popular for their massive breeding capabilities. Give a closer look at them and you'll notice bigger fish are female and the tiny ones are male. Three female for one male is an ideal condition to have continuous production of fries. Fry care is way simpler than any other fish provided there are plants or other hiding spots in your tank. Guppies don't lay eggs because they are live bearers. There are more than a hundred types of guppies throughout the world. They are classified by colors, tail and their body shape. Here are a few popular guppies identified by their tail. Size of a guppy fish is about 3-6 to six centimeters. Life expectancy is about 2.5-3 to three years. Temperature should be around 26 degrees centigrade. Salt levels must be around 1 tablespoon for 20 gallon of water. And your pH value should be around 7-8. to eight. If you're new to fish and if you want to make it a hobby, you can go ahead with your guppy fish. This is one of the most easiest in maintenance. Tank size has to be around 20 gallons for about 6 to 7 pairs. As for maintenance, guppy fish need decent water circulation, they don't like unclean ambience and an air filter is definitely required. Cost of each fish may vary with their variety and regions. In most cases, these fish are quite affordable. Vibrant colors can be achieved with adequate lighting. Generally, not much attention is required if your water parameters are good. Although general aid and methylene blue are always mandatory for water changes. And for newcomers, a methylene dip quarantine is required. Guppies eat both wedge and non-wedge. They love spirulina, algae and many other greens but has to be boiled before feeding. You can feed them bloodworms for iron, zucchini and cucumber for balanced diet. They love these grains so you can just feed these anyway. And for tiny guppies and fries, you can feed them micro pellets like these. They completely like them. Okay, so let's wind the session with an amazing fact. Indonesian farmers introduced fish into their water laden rice fields in a process called rice fish culture. The fish droppings act as fertilizer while the fish eat any insect pests and improve oxygen circulation around the field, increasing rice yields by about 10%. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, catch you guys in the next video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, if you like the video please tap the like button.